My name is Beth Bryan, and I'm going to be walking you through everything you need to know about editing your blog photos with Lightroom. The Lazy Girl's Guide to Lightroom was born in about 2008 because I had picked up my first DSLR camera, and I was trying to learn how to use it and edit my photos. I was using Photoshop at the time and editing one by one, and it was taking forever. So I found this copy of Lightroom on a Black Friday sale, which I bought. And I opened it up, I looked at it, it was this big black screen, and I just said, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. So I closed it, put it away, and didn't go back to it. And then one day, my friend Jenna, I w was admiring pictures of her kids that she had taken. And I said, do you edit your pictures? And she said, yes, I use Lightroom. And I was like, really? That's so hard. How do you use it? And she goes, it's not hard at all. It's, it's very easy. And so I thought, hmm, maybe this is user error here. <laughs> and it was. It was just I didn't take the time to learn it properly. It scared me, so I didn't go back to it. So I set out to learn how to use Lightroom. I found a local class taught by a photographer named Charlie Pappas. He was great. He taught me so much about Lightroom. And um, from there, it's just been years and years of practicing and figuring out the best practices for me as a blogger because I'm not a professional photographer. I wanted to know how to use it for my blog photos, not for professional photography. So that is exactly what I'm gonna teach you in this class. It is called The Lazy Girl's Guide to Lightroom because it is all the shortcuts that I've learned over the years on how to use Lightroom for my blog efficiently, quickly, and to speed up my workflow just like that. So if you are looking for the fastest way to edit your blog photos, you're here. Let's get started. I want to quickly show you the power of Lightroom so you'll understand exactly what this tool can do for you and your blog. And if you're new to Lightroom, this might look like an intimidating dark screen, but that's not it at all. It has so many features. I'm going to teach you how to speed up your photo editing workflow. You'll learn how to efficiently organize all of your photos so that you can find them quickly when you need them for later. And you'll see how to choose just one photo for editing or an entire batch of images. Once we get all of these pictures into the develop mode, you'll see over here on the left that I have a preset called Beth's Favorites. That preset contains all of the edits I, I like to use over and over again. I can select this entire batch and then click the synchronize button and it will apply all of my favorite edits to every picture inside of this batch without having to go through and edit these one by one like I would in Photoshop or in PicMonkey. I'll show you how to crop your images as a square for Instagram or you can instantly turn your vertical images into a horizontal in just a few clicks. We'll go through all of the slider settings to see how you can brighten your images or give them that extra pop of clarity in just a few seconds. And now comes the fun part. So with Lightroom, you can batch edit your photos. And when I say that, I mean you can batch rename your photos to anything you want for SEO capabilities. You can resize your images down so that they are good for your blog size and not huge. And you can also batch watermark your pictures all at one time. And with one click, you have a perfect batch of photos that are watermarked, edited, and ready to go into your next blog post. This is how easy it is, and you're going to learn all of this in The Lazy Girl's Guide to Lightroom. And that, my friends, is the power of Lightroom. I'm so excited for you to join me on this course, so let's get started learning all about how you can make your photos beautiful.